Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Booster John, this is the Full Sun Turbo Civic, and today we're taking the next couple steps to making this Civic into an absolute V8 killing monster. In this project, we're gonna be replacing the stock V16 cams with some upgraded, bigger, more aggressive GSR cams. Also, we're gonna be replacing the really shitty eBay clutch that's in this car right now because it's slipping. It's a piece of shit. And we're gonna be putting in a six puck rigid ACT clutch. Bro, I got it. Really? Yeah, I got it. And then we're gonna be going to the dyno to see just how much more power we can make on only these cams alone. So I finished installing the upgraded cams, the upgraded clutch. We pull up to Mike's shop and immediately throw the car. Out. So like he's putting on like a piece of reflective tape and then like every time the engine rotates uh, there's like a little sensor and it's, it's, a laser, yeah. it's a laser and it's seeing that reflective tape come around and it's saying like okay that was one revolution of the engine and that's how it calculates RPM, it uses RPM to calculate torque and it uses all that information to calculate everything else that the dyno does. What are, you, gonna make are you talking shit? As much horsepower as are you talking shit? Fast. Yeah, this is gonna go no, twice he as fast. Was asking me if I was nervous that your car is super fast. And oh. I said it was already faster than Molly, but it's still gonna be slower than Molly, bro. You should probably be nervous. <sighs> Man, Caleb, like Caleb's always coming up to me and he's always telling me how his Volvo's so fast. He's got a V8, it's got a Turbo LS, and like he really doesn't think that my Honda stands a chance at the drag strip. And you're really starting to piss me off, bro. Like it's at like pull up. Like why don't why don't we actually line up? Like what's what's the deal? You're, are you scared? Are you scared that your car's gonna be slow in mind? Like why are you talking so much? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said that you're that if you weren't so mechanically sympathetic, your Volvo would be in the tents. I watched that video of how you were driving the car. Dude, this guy can't even beat me in Forza. We got the laptop plugged in. Um, that Mike's gonna use the laptop to tune the car, and it's on the dyno. Mike's firing up the dyno stuff on the computer right now, so he's basically just setting up to do a baseline pull. So what's different than before? Cams. Um, ring gaps. Ring gaps. Uh, radiator. Radiator seat. I believe so. From 369 to 420. Huh. Huh. <laughs> this axis is Holy RPM. Shit, what did you do? Or what did it go to? Woo! Yeah, so yeah. I raised the rev limit that time. It was so funny on this grab, so even though it fell off here. Holy shit. We'll see if we go a little bit higher and see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. These cams are sweet. Cams are working really well. So after just a few baseline pulls with the car running on the old tune and a higher rev limiter, we were already making 410 wheel horsepower. And we weren't even going for any power yet. Sick. Did you get that one? Yep. It's Phil Collins. I got it. All right, cool. It's actually, it's probably gonna make more than, more than 420 wheel horsepower today, which is pretty insane because, that's pretty insane. Thank you. I was shooting for like 400 today, so the fact that it literally already is making like 420 horsepower at the wheels, that's that's pretty rowdy. And that's on the same intercooler setup. I don't think we're making any more boost than we were before. And uh, 
like the difference between these two cams that like the old one uh, was just the B16 cam and power would fall off on the on like the upper RPM. So it was only revving to like 8200 because we would start to lose power up top. They were kind of restrictive cams. So with this new cam, it's allowing like it's allowing the motor to pick up a lot of those lost horsepower that's in the upper RPM range. So we're able to rev it out to 8800 and like actually grab horsepower. Whereas like if we were revving it to 8800 before, it would kind of just like fall off. Like it wouldn't be like gaining power or like holding the power. It would actually like drop off that high. So the motor is definitely built to handle it. As long as it's picking up power, it's, it's, it's cooking. So Mike starts doing his wizard magic to make some power and all of a sudden the car starts running really rough. Our first thought was spark plugs, so we pulled all four out and analyzed them. We noticed that cylinder one looked really rough, cylinder two looked pretty bad, cylinder three looked eh, and cylinder four looked almost perfect. So it was a weird gradient across all four cylinders. In a previous video, some of you guys noticed that I installed the head gasket backwards. Until now, it wasn't causing any obvious problems, but it turns out it was leaking oil internally into the cylinders. So let's warm it up and make sure that at least we do a pull it's safe, yeah. and then let's just call that done. Like we made 400 we horsepower well, on a very incorrect engine. So that pretty much ruined the dyno day because at that point, there's no point in tuning for any more power. We're just gonna keep following out spark plugs. So Mike basically told me, we're just gonna tune it for safety so I can drive it home and he sent me off the dyno. What, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make it sound like that. All right, So it's clearly going to be a long road to get in the full send turbo civic to be a v8 killing monster at the drag strip but if you guys like this video and you want to see the car get there someday and actually beat up on some v8s please click that like button please click that subscribe button also i gotta say thank you so much to my friends caleb pasha jared my brother josh for coming out and filming the video and thank you to mike for not blowing up the car in the dyno lastly thank you to justin for helping out during the dyno session and as i always say remember to plan commit execute and attain your goals bye